know your opinion. Real people, real stories. I have bruising that because that's all over my arms. Three weeks after I was on the count of war, I noticed I, I'm looking at my arms and I said, gee, I don't have any bruises on my arms, but I'm always full of bruises. I can't put my finger on it, but I know something's happening. I have to tell you, that has to be the count of war. I've got a Labrador. She could hardly lift herself up off the floor. I won't tell you what the veterinarian said, but the treatment was chemotherapy. And I said, no way. That's when I said, you know what? This could be the ticket. So I started administering her, and she took to it right away. In three weeks, you could tell. She was very alert. Six weeks into the protocol, she seemed like she was 100%. She was going on five-mile walks, and I'm like, my goodness, she is just, like, prime again. Call 866-836-8735. That's 866-836-8735. Or visit carnivore.com. That's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. Welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Dory with you along with Doc Wallach. The website, criticalhealthnews.com. The phone number to call for assistance, 1-855-949-7234. Criticalhealthnews.com. They've been sponsors of the show for about five or six years now and growing. Doc, COVID seems to be plummeting here in the United States. Now, the vaccine proponents will say that's because 50% of the Americans are vaccinated. What do you think is going on? Well, definitely the numbers are dropping. It used to be 75,000 new cases a day, and now we're at about um, um, about 20,000 new cases. So we've gone down and by the deaths are way down. 20,000, sir. Yeah, and deaths are way down. Oh, and deaths are way down. Yeah, deaths uh, were gosh, again we're at uh, six, eight, ten, some days 20,000 a day. Now it's only like less than a thousand. Today, I think it was like 400. Uh, deaths and so uh, it's a combination of um, things, including I'm sure the vaccine helped. Okay, but I'm going to take you back, if I may, just a, a minute or so here. Um, let's go back again uh, to um, uh, 1797 when a guy by the name of Edward Jenner, a little country doctor in England, came up with a vaccine for smallpox, which had been you know ravaging havoc with humanity for a thousand years. Every, every season. And then in 1885, their rabies was going through Russia like crazy, and a guy from France by the name of, um, um, let's see here, uh, Louis Pasteur. Yeah, Louis, Louis Pasteur, yeah. Um, he um, uh, came up with a vaccine, and uh, just in, in months, he was able to stop that pandemic of um, rabies in Russia. And then uh, we had a pandemic of polio in the United States, and a guy by the name of uh, Jonas Salk came up with a vaccine there. And then we had, uh, let's see, in 1918, backing up a little bit, we had the uh, Spanish flu. Killed 657,000 Americans in two years. Right now, I think we're going to surpass that, though, uh, that, because we're well over 600,000 now. And um, it did. And so... Um, then we had the Spanish flu, and then we had uh, H, uh, just the HIV and, um, and that kind of stuff. Okay, and we had... Um, but still no vaccine, really, for that. Well, really, yeah, not very good. And then, then we had uh, H1N1, then we had SARS and MERS, and then COVID-2 came along in 2002. And they put together a lecture on it called uh, Hell's Kitchen. And so um, I went back and did the research and figured out when these terrible uh, pandemics keep coming up. It was at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, September 4th, 1882, on Pearl Street, New York City, in the bluff overlooking the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, when Thomas Edison and Jonathan Leaves pulled the switch on the first commercial electric generating plant. But in 10 years' time, we had like 40 of these diseases that nobody had ever heard of before. And doctors were blaming it all on genetics. They were just simple nutritional deficiency disease because when the industrialized world went to electricity, they gave up wood stoves, fireplaces, and fire pits. We didn't have wood ashes anymore to put in the gardens for mineral supplementation to the plants and also eating wood ashes. And uh, so that's the problem. Uh, our immune system requires these minerals. 
And so once we went to electricity, we keep getting these pandemics. Now, the difference is here, some of these things are very age-related, you know, like polio tended to go after kids and didn't kill them, but it got them paralyzed. Okay, and then some of these other, like the, the, the common flu, um, it, it would kill maybe 40,000 people uh, every year in America, which is not much compared to 600,000. And now it's plummeted, they say. Yeah, exactly. It almost disappeared. Now, here's what I, I wonder, George. With some of those deaths of the common flu, were they really COVID, COVID back then? And they didn't know it. They didn't have the ability yeah. to diagnose it until recently. Or were COVID deaths flu deaths? Exactly, that's what I'm getting at. Were, were the flu deaths really COVID deaths? It's all mixed in. Yeah, exactly. And what about herd immunity? And you think that's a reason why things have slowed down? Uh, yeah, when you have a certain number of people who are um, have antibodies against it, the, the virus can't jump from person to person and do any damage now. Um, uh, I'm really interested in that terminology, herd immunity. Okay, now, medical doctors are taught in school to manage disease. They're not taught to prevent or cure disease. They're taught to manage disease. <clears throat> I can take somebody who's a diabetic, real type 2 diabetic for 20 years. They've had their feet amputated. They've gone blind. <clears throat> They're really a mess. Their A1C is 19 instead of 4 like it should be. What's going on here? And so, you know, I can put them on our program for diabetes, and in six weeks' time, they're not a diabetic anymore. Okay? But doctors are taught to manage diseases, and they, they, they treat human populations like a herd of dairy cattle. They ring the bell, you run to the doctor's office, you get your pharmaceutical. Okay? The farmers ring the bell, the milk cow runs in the barn, they give them a little bit of grain, they milk them come back out to pasture. They ring the bell in the afternoon, they run back in the barn, they get their little cup of, of um, grain, and they milk them again. And so by managing the diseases, doctors are in fact just milking the cows. Actually, they don't feel bad about that because they feel insurance is paying for it, and so it's really not hurting the patient, but it is messing up their life. Let's take some calls, Doc. Here we go. Alyssa in Portland, Oregon's with us. Hey, Alyssa. Hi, George. Hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. Two quick questions. Um, the first one is about my mother. She's um, at the age where she's um, starting to get cataracts, and her mother had it at the same age, and she was with her vision later in the days. Um, is there any way to see her to either reverse that or um, just to help ease it? How do you slow down cataracts, Doc? Okay, well, first of all, they're not due to aging, okay? Um, 82, that's my age. I don't have cataracts. <laughs> Okay, it's just, uh, does your mother have gray hair? Oh, me off. No, you're there. Oh, I didn't hear him. Does, does she, she have gray, gray hair? Does she have gray hair? Yes, she does. Does she have varicose veins in her legs and feet? No, she does not. Okay. Does she have high blood pressure or diabetes? No, she eats everything on a strict diet. She doesn't have no sugar or anything. Okay, good. So, no, we got you rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no bright rhinos, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. And what does she weigh? What's her body weight? Oh, my gosh, probably 150. Okay, so she's either bigger than you, your size, or smaller, so you can kind of judge. So, let's say 150. I want her to have two healthy brain and heart packs a month, a full dose of everything twice a day. And then uh, she also needs the MSM, take three of those three times a day, that's two bottles a month, because we want to rebuild the skull, because she could have ONA, optic nerve atrophy, and she needs to go to a different doctor and get another opinion. Are they really cataracts, okay, to, or does she have ONA, optic nerve atrophy, which is the skull squeezing the optic nerve, which is the second cranial nerve, okay? And then uh, you probably should get a hold of that book. It's called It's All in Your Head. It goes into these, these um, uh, neurological problems that are caused by osteoporosis squeezing the nerve. So you get a hold of that book. It's called um, It's All in Your Head. Can foggy lenses be cleaned up? Oh, yeah. They can. Foggy lenses, uh, uh, foggy corneas, um, things going on with the retina, which is the lining of the eye. Um, um, again, this can all be caused by squeezing of the optic nerve because it also squeezes the optic artery going into the eye and also the optic vein coming back out of the eye. Okay, so you get all kinds of stuff going on. We have osteoporosis of the skull squeezing that nerve in the artery in the vein. And so that's one of the things you have to look at. And so just, you know, doing a, a, a eye surgery in an 82-year-old is not a good idea. Maybe a 40-year-old, but not a, an 80-year-old. Right, right. Okay, and so uh, basically... Uh, in addition to the two Halliburton heart packs, the three 
of the MSM twice a day. I'd also give her what we call um, our Vision FX. She can take three of those twice a day, Vision FX. I also want her to take our Fucoid Z capsules, which is a seaweed, an algae from the ocean. I think there's eight or nine different seaweeds and algae in there. And there's these weird trace minerals they're really good for bones and bone marrow and so forth, and also for the eye and, and retina and the, the, the um, lens for the eye and so forth. So she have, should have a three of those two Z capsules twice a day. I take those. I weigh 142, and I take... How tall you weigh? Yeah, 142, yes, sir. I didn't know. How tall are you? 5'6". Uh, I used to weigh 160. Okay, but uh, when I wrestled in high school and university, I wrestled for four years for the University of Missouri at 120 pounds, but I only weighed 110. Okay, and so um, lettered all, all four years. And so... Um, you were the guy somebody tossed out of the ring 40 feet, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to throw him around pretty good. Um, played football, lettered in football also at 110 pounds. I was a mean, mean machine. When's the last time you went to St. Louis? Last time I went to St. Louis, oh gosh, that's got to be about, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four or five years ago. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. bad. Did you go by the zoo at all? Oh, yeah. Um, of course, I spent uh, 10 years working at the zoo in Washington University there. Oh, yeah. $25 million dollar grant. My thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute as a natural treasure because they showed in that um, um, you know, 20,000 autopsies, there are no genetic diseases, there are no genetically transmitted birth defects. And so my thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure, and it was a $25 million grant from NIH. Uh, and it was uh, Marlon Perkins who took my thesis. I didn't realize how important it was. And he and um, Barry Commoner uh, from uh, Washington University. That's right, huge. Went in, and when I aged in, Common I, Cause was his agency. Yep. Yeah. I remember that stuff. Tom, you got a text or tweet for Doc? What do you have back? We sure do. Maury in Las Vegas wants to know, besides supplements, what is the best way to increase breathing? Okay, well, uh, breathing can be an uh, important deal. <laughs> How long do you need oxygen? Forever, okay? you gotta, you got to breathe. <laughs> okay, now, the, if you get osteoporosis of the skull, uh, squeezing uh, the 10th uh, cranial nerve, the vagus nerve, uh, you can get what's called COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, okay? You can also get the hiccups. A, a branch of that 10th cranial nerve called the recurrent nerve controls the diaphragm. And it's one of the signals that you have that 10th cranial nerve uh, being squeezed. You get the hi hiccup yeah. binges. And you start getting COPD, this dry, unproductive cough, no fever or anything because it's not an infection. And um, then you can get a gluten problem. And you have things like uh, irritable bowel syndrome and celiac disease and ulcerative colitis and that kind of stuff. And you're not supplementing properly. You cannot absorb the nutrients necessary to um, give your lungs what they need to um, uh, breathe properly. And so there can be two or four or five different things causing respiratory problems. So I like to deal with all of them. So again, none of the bad foods. Um, one uh, healthy brain and heart pack for 100 pounds of body weight. Um, and if you only weigh 150, I can get, still get two of them. Um, there's going to be a bottle of the EFAs and a bottle of the EFA pluses in each one of those. You need to take three twice a day of each one of those. I do that, and I only weigh 142 pounds. And again, um, I don't have any respiratory problems. I'm, I'm 82 years old. This uh, coming um, Friday, I'll be 82 years old. And uh, it's one of those things where uh, you take your nutrients, stay away from the bad stuff. You know, don't smoke, that kind of thing. And, um, uh, you know, you take people that they've had um, all kinds of stuff, uh, uh, COPD, and, that's a, and the doctor will give them a lung from transplant. So, well, give me 90 days first. Get a second opinion, give me 90 days. And usually within 90 days, all their lung stuff is gone. As long as you're staying away from the bad food, and take them 90. Let's go to Steve in Pennsylvania, first time caller. Hi, Stephen. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? It's great. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm a long time listener, first time caller here. Good to have you with us. I have no problem, thank you, I enjoy the show. Um, I have a question for the doctor. Um, mm -hmm. in March of last year, um, or you, I guess the beginning of the pandemic or whatever, I, um, I had an endoscopy done, and I was told I had still had to leave. I'm 42 years old, I, uh, I'm asymptomatic, I didn't even know I 
I didn't even know I, you know, I kind of turned off like a surprise, you know what I mean? And um, I'm listening to you. You're know, up there for that. Now, did you go to the doctor because you're anemic or feeling tired or you have skin problems or why did you go to the doctor? Just an annual physical? No, well, I, I, I was having like a kind of like a pain in, in like around my, in the middle of my, like around my breastbone. And, uh, and um, I know, I just, I just, uh, Bothered you. It bothered you. It bothered me a little bit. Do you have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis, or varicose veins, or gray hair? No, I don't. Not that. My, my question, my question though, is like I, I listen to you talk about this, like gluten and everything like that, and how bad it is and everything. Now, is is that celiac? Is that like a yes. real thing, or, yes. or am I just like anybody else and eat gluten for like? No, the, my, celiac disease is those villi, those little finger-like projections in your intestine that make it look like a shag rug, go away. What are they, Doc? What gluten? No, the celiacs. Oh, oh, celiac. Well, celiac disease is where those villi and the, and the intestinal little finger-like projections in the small intestine go away. Because the gluten has a substance in it called pro-inflammatory cytokines, which kill the villi. They slowly go away. And that's why a kid, for instance, who's um, three years old who gets the COVID, they'll have common cold-like symptoms for three days to get the antibodies against the disease and are good to go for the rest of their life. You take somebody who's 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, and they've been eating gluten for 30, 40, 50 years, their intestines are dead. They're not supplementing. They get celiac disease. They start getting... Well, what do you mean get off of gluten? I've been eating gluten all my life. No problem. Well, that's why you have a problem because now after 30 years of eating gluten, your intestines are dead. You're not supplementing, and so you're in trouble. How quickly does the body rebound when you stop eating stuff like that? Okay, George, that's the greatest question of all. So when you stop eating gluten and you take, you must take the 90 because it's not in the food, okay? It would be like putting dirt from Texas in your car and hoping there's oil in it. Okay, <laughs> an insane person wouldn't do that to their car, so why do that to yourself? You need to consciously take the 90. When you have celiac disease, okay, or irritable bowel syndrome or uh, ulcerative colitis and uh, that kind of stuff, you need to really, really, really hammer it hard. So you've got to get rid of all the bad stuff, take the 90. Um, actually, it's more, but when you take the healthy brain and heart pack, you're getting 215 nutrients, which includes the 90. And uh, within two weeks, you're going to see a huge positive. Uh, within a month, very huge positive, and within 90 days, it's all gone. But you got to stay on the diet forever. Mm -hmm. you got to stay on the supplements forever. Well, I notice a lot of grocery stores have now gluten-free sections that's in the correct. store, in the freezers and everything else. Yes, and that's a good thing. And, of course, you know, I, I buy 25 frozen gluten-free pizzas at a time because when I get down to the last five, I don't want to run out and, and be out of gluten-free pizzas for a month. Are there runs on stuff like that? Um, there are runs on gluten-free pizzas, okay? okay uh, and I get them. They're made from uh, cauliflower and rice flour. And they have four cheeses on them, and I think eight or 10 or 12 different vegetables and bell peppers and that kind of stuff and onions and so on. And then I actually make hamburgers and put the hamburgers on top of that. And I'll have that with red wine three nights a week for dinner time. And then um, I have a, maybe a baked sweet potato with butter on it. Um, and for breakfast, I'll do pretty much the same thing, except I will have um, wild rice, not fried rice, but wild rice, and um, smoked salmon, okay, and um, do very well. And take all my supplements twice a day. I drink our Rebounder sports drink with 100 nutrients in it, 75 minerals and 25 vitamins and amino acids, are, and it's called Rebound. And that's what you need to do, and your celiac disease will go away. You've got to give your body the best chance you can. That's correct. And the body has the capacity to heal itself, but you got to stop hammering it with the bad stuff. No gluten. This is forever. You can never go back to it. And there are no such things as gluten-free oats. Oats is one of the biggest killers of people. I really have never been a gluten person in the first place, so I'm pretty lucky there. Yeah, and, you know, you, you, when did you get off of gluten, do you think? I, I can't remember going on it. I mean, I've, I've never really been a cereal person or, or an oats person or anything like that. Okay, so, you, so your grandmother didn't give you oatmeal for breakfast in the morning or pancakes or waffles or French toast or... If she did, it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Stay, yeah. stay with us, Doc. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, Steve uh, in Pennsylvania, here's that toll-free number to call for assistance. 1-855-949-RADIO, 1-855-949-7234. And the website to go to, criticalhealthnews.com. Back with final calls with Doc Wallach on Coast to Coast AM.
The Coast website is now streamlined for mobile devices. Great news if you're a Coast insider or simply want to enjoy our website on your phone. Visit coasttocoastam.com on your iPhone or Android browser. A San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy has died following a high-speed chase and shootout with a motorcycle rider in Yucca Valley. The rider ambushed the deputies after abandoning his bike. He was killed in a shootout. The deputy who died was a 17-year veteran of the Sheriff's Department. A longtime L.A. County Sheriff's deputy has been charged with suspicion of sexually abusing his teenage niece. He's also accused of possessing child pornography. Investigators do not know of any other victims. A large American flag and other smaller flags were stolen over the Memorial Day weekend from the Los Angeles National Cemetery. Authorities are checking to see if security cameras captured the theft. Southland weather from KFI, patchy fog this morning, then sunny and warm later. Mid-60s at the beaches, upper 70s to low 80s in the metro LA OC areas. Mid to upper 80s in the valleys in the IE, a little warmer tomorrow. Right now, 61 degrees across the board for Stanton, Newport Beach, Venice, and La Cunada Flintridge. We leave local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Phil Hewlett. Taking your way through Van Nuys, southbound 7 to 405 before Burbank Boulevard. You have a big rig that broke down. That's in the far right lane. CHP is on the scene. In Mid-City, eastbound 10 in Arlington, fender bender on the off-ramp. Watch for looky loose as you try to exit the freeway. Up ahead in Mid-City, eastbound 10 in Vermont, two-car crash has the right lane blocked there. And in Inglewood, 405 South at Century, brush fire on the right shoulder. Fire crews are on scene. They have the Century Boulevard off-ramp shut down. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Ryan Duggan. Getting families vaccinated against COVID-19 is an important step to bringing back joy for all of us. That's within reach now that the Pfizer vaccine is proven safe and effective for those 12 and older. This is the same vaccine millions of Californians have already gotten. California is even adding new vaccine clinics specifically for young people. Together, we can end the pandemic. Visit vaccinateall58.com or call 833-422-4255 to learn more. AMCO presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that AMCO's fixed over 40 million transmissions and that AMCO offers a nationwide warranty. Are you still driving around with that check engine light on? AMCO will read and report the trouble codes on your vehicle for free. Call them today. That's AMCO, double A. MCO. Still buying bottled water? Really? Eliminate the cost and hassle of buying, well, it's wasteful plastic water bottles with what it does to the environment. So let me suggest a life source whole house water filtration system where you can have this delicious, clean, filtered water coming out of every tap in your home. And there are no filters to change once they install it, no maintenance at all, you actually forget about it. And what the Life Source Water System does reduces the odor and taste of chlorine from your water. And not only are you hydrating your body, your skin, your hair will thank you too. You're buying directly from the factory, uh, which provides installation and customer service for the life of your system. They've been around for 36 years here in Southern California. And if you're looking to join a growing team, LifeSource is hiring team members in your area. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009. Visit LifeSourceWater.com. LifeSource Water. Taste and feel the difference. KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. I have a sign in uh, my office. Is Diet Pepsi okay? And the answer is, is Monopoly money okay? Bill and the mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk.
to George Nori, call the Wild Card Line at 818-501-4109. The first time caller line is 818-501-4721. To talk toll-free from east of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From west of the Rockies, toll-free, call 800-618-8255. To reach George via Skype, use Skype name George97313. Send George a text message anytime at 818-298-6521. From the City of Angels, this is Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie. We'll be back in a moment with final calls with Doc Wallach from criticalhealthnews.com. Next hour, Stephen Schwartz joins us as we talk about consciousness and UFOs on Coast to Coast. Now, this message is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. And there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available locally. That's why you use this. You get timely and thoughtful responses, and you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available too. Visit BetterHelp.com forward slash George. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and join the more than one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. A special offer for you, Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash George. On 9-11, America vowed to never forget. Since then, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation has helped our country to honor that commitment through action 20 years after our nation's darkest day. This year, the Foundation is honoring America's heroes and their families with 120 mortgage-free homes, bringing hope when it's needed most to 120 Gold Star and fallen first responder families with young children and catastrophically injured veterans and first responders. To pay tribute to America's fallen heroes, the Foundation's chairman and CEO Frank Stiller is walking from the Pentagon to Shanksville, Pennsylvania and on to Ground Zero. His more than 500 mile journey through six states in 42 days begins August 1st and fittingly finishes on 9-11 at Ground Zero. The foundation is bringing towers of light to the memorials at the Pentagon and in Shanksville in remembrance. Help America to never forget. Do good and honor America's heroes. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number two, T.org. And welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Dory with you along with Doc Wallach from criticalhealthnews.com. Doc, uh, what's your next project? What's up for you? Well, um, I've been working with Patch Adams, and so that's kind of exciting, trying to build him a hospital in West Virginia. You're building him a hospital? Yeah. You know, for kids and veterans. Yeah, he's been into that for a long time, too. Yep. <laughs> Good for you. And, yeah, and he's not quite been able to get it done, not because it wasn't a righteous project, it's just uh, I think he used the wrong avenue. And so we're going to put it together for him and build an army uh, like we've done with you, and we're going to um, uh, help him build that hospital. Bring him on the show the next time you're on. Okay, I shall try my best. I will Good. try and get her done. Let's get some calls. Ray's with us, Portland, Oregon, west of the Rockies. Hey, Raymond, go ahead. My name's Sergeant Haas. I've been in the United States Army for 31 years. I was a nurse, DMT, OR tech. Thank you for serving, I Ray. Uh, I have a situation that occurred to me. I went to the security guard down here to supplement my, supplement my income. I ended up walking about five miles, and the bottoms of my feet became swollen and very irritated. My doctor stated it was caused by diabetes and irritation. One of the doctors stated that I was producing a large amount of fibrogen in my body related to the diabetes, which attacked the cells of my feet. And he suggested using this uh, systematic uh, enzyme formula to fight the fibrin that developed 
in my team can cause a swelling in the ear of patient. So what do you say about this? Is this a legitimate problem that I'm having? Okay, it's not unusual for people who with chronic uh, long uh, long lasting, long standing diabetes is uncontrolled. Okay? But again, okay. dealing with the fibers, the fibers in the feet is trying to manage the disease instead of getting rid of it. Now, is this type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes? Uh, I'm, I take uh, uh, several diabetes. Oh, okay, that's not the answer to the question. Were you diagnosed as an adult or as a newborn baby? Uh, adult. Okay, so it's type 2 diabetes. How much do you weigh, sir? 250. Okay, and how tall are you? Uh, five six. Five six, okay. Uh, Two fifty. You're probably about uh, seventy pounds or ninety or hundred pounds overweight. I cannot lose that weight. I have tried everything. Oh, okay, no, you haven't. You haven't tried everything. Okay, so uh, here we go. So you have that. Do you have um, high blood pressure? I have had high blood pressure. I have severe heart problems right now. I've had. Okay, now what does that mean? There's 50 different heart diseases. Which one you got? Uh, I have lost the functionality of 40% of my heart. Okay, now is this because of cardiomyopathy, heart disease, or is this because of congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease? What you got? Coronary artery disease, arterial sclerosis. Okay, do you have a white or gray or silver hair? White. Okay. All right. So here's what we need to do. Number one, get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, no barley rye, no sugar, and no carbonated drinks. Even the diet ones are bad. If you want something to drink other than water, we do have uh, the Icelandic water, which has the volcanic ash minerals in it. Icelandic water in quartz. We also have our sports drink, Rebound, okay, which has 100 nutrients in it, 75 minerals. And um, also it has 25 uh, uh, vitamins and amino acids. Then I also uh, want you to um, take uh, two healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs per month, full of something twice a day. And I want you to take three of our Sweeties capsules with each meal. That's three bottles a month, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. Do not cold turkey off your medication. But as your blood sugar comes down, you can reduce your medication based on the numbers, okay? And, you know, check your A1C as well, and that should be coming down very rapidly as well as the blood sugar. But you have to be able to get rid of all the bad foods so you can absorb these nutrients to effect a resolution of the problem. How much of, of this doc is discipline? Well, it's discipline to take everything because uh, people get lazy, people feel pretty good, so, well, I don't have to do this anymore, I'm feeling pretty good. Or they get busy and they forget to take it. Um, I have not missed taking my um, 215 nutrients twice a day for 74 years. You bring them in a little bag or something, don't you? Well, I, I kind of use like a lunchbox and I take you know my pills and capsules. Wherever you go, they go with you. That's correct. When I go, uh, you know, on the road like you.